part one of four. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Ayoka. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Friday so far, okay? Look, the first card that came out was tree. All right, so make sure you guys flip the roll as you see fit. Take only what you need and leave the rest. Go over to my YouTube, you guys. Subscribe if you're feeling my vibe. The link is in my bio, y'all. So the tree, the tree, the tree. All right, so the tree basically is speaking of health, vitality, well-being, okay? So the tree symbolizes humanity, um, long-term responsibility for stewardship of the environment. The tree teaches us that actions we take today and the choices we make have long-term ramifications. When we nurture ourselves and deepen our relationships, the benefits will be widespread. Okay, so the tree card also refers to longevity, stability, and life cycles. All right, so let's just see how this card applies, okay, to you guys. Let me get my tarot. Tell me about the tree. Why is the tree card here? How does this apply? The lovers comes out in the reverse. So there's some type of imbalance here. All right, definitely somebody that you may care about, okay? Whatever is happening, that could be just some disharmony, okay? I got the emperor coming out in the upright position. All right, next to the star card in the reverse. Woo. In the death card, okay? That's also reverse position. Now, with this emperor, it could be masculine energy or it could be you, right? Energy is energy. But however, I feel like when it comes to your goals and pursuing them, it requires um, some type of discipline, right? And it re requires you to have that structure, okay? Um, and when I'm seeing somebody could be in despair, it's like almost feeling hopeless, okay? And because of that, what ends up happening, you get stuck in this cycle, right life is about cycles so you get stuck in this cycle that's never ending and so what i'm seeing here is like i'm hearing it's time to get disciplined you want harmony in your life and in your connections and um just period it's time to get disciplined it's time to get clear in your thinking and start facing your fears facing your truth here look this death card should not be in a reverse you need to be in uh, right with this, which means you're going through a major transformation in your ending phases, okay? And you're ending cycles and you're dying to yourself here. Here go the Eight of Swords in reverse so y'all can see that, okay? So it could be something here that could be telling you, like your ego, <laughs> that um, you can't move forward or that you don't deserve some type of abundance here. But guess what? Yep, the Ten of Pentacles, that you don't deserve to have this with a particular person, Okay, so hold on, y'all. We're going to go into part two. Stay tuned.